Okay, let's uh, move very quickly um, and um, talk, talk um, Cup Champions League very quickly. The draws have been made today. Okay, um, what you are seeing on your screen are the fixtures for the CAF Confederation Cup, but we wanted to start with the uh, CAF Champions League. But let me just read what you have on the screen because of interest to us is Worry Wolves in the CAF Confederation Cup. Worry Wolves have been drawn against AC Leopards of Congo uh, in the CAF Confederation Cup. Uh, the good news is that Warriors will be going away for the first leg and they will be coming home uh, to wrap things up, hopefully, uh, in the second leg. So we wish them the best of luck, the very best of luck. Let's go quickly now uh, to worry. I, I, I hope he's in worry oh. to speak to... <laughs> anyway, worry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I mean, speak to the chairman of the Worry Wolves. Uh, Devinson Nogumi is on to, on to us line, on the line now. Uh, so let's quickly go to meet him. Davidson, uh, thank you for joining us on uh, Sports Tonight. Um, congratulations once again for the results uh, last weekend, qualifying for this stage. But you have been drawn against AC Leopards. What's your immediate reaction to this? Well, then, thank you very much, Tony. We are, uh, we from this side of the country, we are grateful to God Almighty for leading us to this point. And um, we think that um, we, we have the capacity to go it all. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and uh, we have been drawn with um, uh, guest uh, Leopard. We think that we're going to give it our very best to make sure that um, Warri Wolf comes out out of this battle of crash. Hmm. Be be before now, um, uh, Davis, we, we know you are pretty experienced um, in this business because several times you led Rangers and you were so close uh, to winning continental trophies with Rangers uh, a few years back. Now you are here with Worry Wolves, but what, what exactly is the strategy for you uh, to ensure that you are able to get past AC Leopards, get into the group phase, and go as far as you can? Yeah, I think uh, the players in Worry Wolves, when I came in last year, the first thing I tried to do was to imbibe the philosophy of winning into the team. And now the players are getting used to it. They are, they've gotten attuned to what we expect from both the management and the technical team. So they are carrying it out as we think they should. And by the special grace of God, once the mentality is right, then every other thing fall, falls in place. We hope to God Almighty that um, uh, His Excellency that has been very helpful to us, you know, will, uh, will also come to our rescue this time around so that we can move on time to uh, Congo and have some rest before the match. Uh, we are not pretending that it's going to be an easy task, but by the special grace of God, we think we are equally um, uh, capable of doing Nigeria proud this time mm. around. Mm. Well, you just came back from Congo early this week. You have to go back to Congo next week. And uh, one thing that we've been reading on the pages of newspaper is the issue of money, funds coming and all of that. I know the Delta State government has been supportive, giving cash from his own pocket sometimes to, to help the team. But how do you intend to ensure that you travel on time? and uh, keep your players motivated, that's the issue, uh, before this big game against AC Leopards. Well, I think uh, the issue of uh, the team motivation has gone beyond the immediate shock of Delta State. The worry was, as you know, is uh, it's not just uh, a Delta property right now. It, it, we are representing the entire country. So we are very optimistic that uh, the, our sponsors, our financiers, will come to our rescue timely too, so that uh, we can make the trip on time and get properly settled before the Sunday's game. I, I will make, will make an overshot to the state governor, and we are very hopeful and optimistic that he's going to uh, uh, perform his own side to motivate the team to success. And we have promised that we're going to give it all we can to make sure that we come out successful. Mm. Before we allow you to go, uh, let me know me, um, how far do you see uh, where it was go? in this CAF Commodations Cup. What it was is like a Super Eagles team. I mean, from goalkeeper to striker, Super Eagles players all through. How far do you see this team go in this competition? Well, um, I think, uh, Tony, with, uh, like you rightly said, it was a deliberate attempt to bring together a team that can play. Mm. And uh, I think the management took it as a, as a task from last year. We built them up a very... Um, a solid team that can play anytime, anywhere. And uh, we think that uh, with God on our side, we plan to go the whole length of it, the whole hall of it. And um, I think that um, if every other uh, thing is, uh, 
is made possible, our valuable motivation and things like that, if we can go heavy, I think that this team will go the whole length and do this country proud. Mm. Well, David Sinovo, we wish you the very best uh, this time around. We hope that you will really touch that trophy uh, this time. We wish you the best. And we thank you for speaking to us, even at very short thank notice very on Sports Tonight. Thank you very much, Tony. Mm. Thank you very much, Tony. You're mm. welcome, always. All right, so Bye. we've been speaking to the chairman, CEO, uh, Worry Wolves, uh, David Sinovo, me. Uh, he's been speaking to us about uh, Worry Wolves and their chances uh, in the CAF uh, Confederations Cup. We really want to wish them the best of luck. But let's also tell you that the draws for the CAF Champions League was, were also made. Before we go on a break, let's just quickly run through for you. The CAF Champions League, for the first time, we're having three teams from Algeria uh, in the group phase of the CAF Champions League. And guess what? All three teams are in the same group. Uh, but then, in Group A, is going to be Smoa of Egypt, Concourse of Inyiba, and then you have uh, uh, Tetuan of... Uh, uh, Morocco, Egypt of Morocco, Morocco Concourse of Pillars. Then you have uh, Tibi Mazembe of Congo DR. You have Al Hilal of Sudan. In Group B, that's where you have the uh, three um, Algerian sides. On top, the team defending champion, you have uh, USM Algeria, you have uh, AS Kaloum of Guinea, and then you have uh, MC Elma of uh, Algeria. Three Algerian teams in the same group. That's a cage fight, yeah. if you ask me, and that's yeah. going to be pretty, pretty tough. Uh, group B of the CAF Champions League. And then we told you, of course, already about the Car Competitions Cup. Worry Wolves have drawn AC Leopards of Congo. They just came back from Congo, and they are going back to Congo, and I'm sure the result will be the same. Yeah. Let's go on a quick break. During the break, we'll take you to Oweri. If you have not seen this, sit back and enjoy it. Sunshine stars on Sunday went to... Maybe they shouldn't be playing on Sundays when they are playing away. Went to Oweri and beat... Atlant. Look at this first goal by Ade Niji. Beautiful solo effort. Three new white ones of Atlant of Oweri right there at the Danayam Stadium. Sit back and enjoy the other highlights. We'll come back for more on Sports Tonight. <laughs> 